What's going on, Bionics? It's serious again. It's been a minute, um, and there have been a lot of crazy things going on uh, on Terror over the last couple months. Um, we're edging very close to temporal shift and the paradigm shift and the, the plane shift. There's a lot of a lot of things kind of coinciding here over the next couple of weeks, and um, we'll be getting a lot of questions, you know, from fellow Bionics dealing with evolution and its importance, and you really have to understand that it's important for a couple of different reasons. Um, mainly, well, one being your survival, survivalist reasons on this plane. Um, you know, we have a couple of different dimensions that we can work through, but, you know, on this plane, your planet only gives you a certain amount of time to get things done. Um, there are natural shifts, there are natural changes in atmosphere and things that happen within the universe, and a couple, you know, as as consistent as most of the systems are, there's a lot of, you know, sporadic things that can happen, you know, that can take a, a really very habitable planet and turn it into a desolate, dead rock floating in space. And that's one of the main things as far as evolution. Um, through this growing period, you have to figure out a way to get off the planet and get, up, get to other planets, get to other solar systems. Um, if you don't do that, that will be the downfall of the civilization um, for a number of different reasons. One, you know, younger species have a tendency to destroy themselves before, you know, a comet or any extraterrestrial beings could come and do that for them. Um, that's a consciousness issue. Uh, other things is they take too long in their evolution, scientific, uh, conscious level, um, any anything across those those lines and the planet just kind of recycles its system um and during those system recycling times you know a lot of life perishes and then it starts over and it's cycl cyclical so you know you really have to do your best to move forward get into the higher levels of consciousness we all on this planet have fifth dimensional consciousness ability um, and actually most of us practice it every single day. We just don't define it by that. Um, you think about the fifth dimensional consciousness and, and, and the possibilities of what will be and being able to see all things at once and living in the past, present, and the future. Um, some people call it daydreaming. Some, some people call it meditating. Some people, there's a couple of different names that you can, that you can use for it to access it. Um, but it's just a matter of having a very physical understanding of your machine being your body and that the consciousness, which is you, is driving that. All right. So we have a couple more videos coming. It's going to get wild over the next couple of weeks um, or years. And uh, you're going to start seeing a lot of our brothers and sisters really starting to manifest themselves around here. All right. Peace.